Hi friends, if you are wondering how to access a USB drive which you have connected to your Mac, it is pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and connect a USB drive to my Mac's USB port. After connecting it, generally what happens is the USB drive shows up on your desktop like it just showed up over here. I can double click it and I can start using it. It also shows up inside Finder. So if I go to Finder, you will see under locations, a new untitled entry has showed up, which is my USB drive. I can also click eject over here. But if you are unable to still find it, there are two ways of diagnosing it. First, maybe there is something wrong with the USB port, change the USB port. If you are using a SD card, let me show you how a SD card works. The icon is slightly different. I'm now going to insert an SD card inside my Mac. You will notice that the SD card is also instantly detected over here and shows up on the desktop. Now, if you are unable to see it, the way to diagnose your USB drive or SD card in your Mac is to click command and space and search for something called disk utility. So I will search disk utility. I will double click on disk utility once it opens up. It shows me all the disks which are connected to my Mac. So you see over here, this SD card or USB drive shows up over here and it is in EXFAT, XFAT format. Now, if your drive is in a wrong format or has certain problems, you can click first aid over here. If your drive has showed up inside disk utility, that means it is not a problem with your USB port, it is being detected. But depending on what you see over here as the system, how the system has been formatted, there may be compatibility issues. So generally NTFS is not read very well within Mac or there may be some other error which you can click first aid over here and you can run a first aid on your external drive. Be careful if you have data which is sensitive, which is important. I recommend that you connect your USB drive to a Windows system first, back it up and then try to diagnose it over here inside your Mac. I hope this helps. Please do hit the like button if this video helped you.